In this video, I'll go over the differences and similarities between Love Every and Monty Kids to help you decide which subscription will be best for you. Let's start with the big picture of what each company is about. Monty Kids' goal is to provide a program based on the Montessori curriculum made easy for parents to use at home. Love Every brings researchers and practitioners from a wide range of disciplines together to develop products that support the child's brain development at each stage. Looking at how each company describes themselves, we can already see that there are differences between the two companies. Monty Kids, like their name implies, follows the Montessori method. Love Every, on the other hand, takes ideas from multiple sources to design their items, which means some of the items could be based on Montessori, Waldorf, STEM, and even their own design based on research. With this difference in mind, we already know that we're not exactly comparing apples to apples. But don't worry, I'll go over some more similarities and differences to help you figure out which box is best for your family. Let's talk about one of the biggest differences, the cost. Love Every has two different pricing tiers for their play kits. For the first year, 0 to 12 months, each play kit costs $80 and you receive one box every two months. The one to three year or $120 per play kit, and these are one box every three months. Simple enough as this adds up to $480 a year with Love Every. Monty kits cost $297 per box, with the exception of their level seven box that costs $257. Not sure why that box costs lower than the rest. Their numbering scheme is also a bit confusing as the boxes aren't on a set schedule. And when I mean schedule, I mean you don't get them like once every month or once every three months. If you take a look at the website, you'll notice that some of the boxes cover three months, like level one, but some like level five cover four months and level eight covers eight months. Due to the way they break down their boxes, it's hard to really compare the amount you spend per year as some boxes overlap into the next year. So to make things easy, let's just say you can get the full collection. Subscribing to Monty Kids for the full three years to get all eight box would cost $2,336. With Love Every, if you subscribe the full four years, it would cost $1,920, making it not only $416 less than Monty Kids, but you also get an extra year of Play Kids. If you're comparing the two solely based on cost, then Love Every wins. While no one would say Love Every is inexpensive, it's considerably cheaper than Monty Kids. However, there are other things to consider besides the cost, like the quality of the items. For the most part, both company toys are made in natural materials like wood and cotton, which is great as natural materials just feel better versus cold plastic. Currently, I own almost every single Love Every box except for one right now. And I've noticed that they do eventually use a bit more plastic in some of the kits. However, not once have I thought one of the toys felt cheap. Monty Kits, I currently only own the level two box, which almost all the items are made of wood or fabric, with the exception being the teether ball and the dining set. When it comes to teething and eating, wood just doesn't quite work as well. Looking at Monty Kids' website, they do seem to stick with wooden and fabric toys with very minimal plastic. If your goal is to eliminate plastic completely, then Monty Kids would have the win. But when it comes to the quality of the items included, there isn't a clear winner. Surprisingly, there aren't too many overlapping items between the two companies. One item that does overlap that I own both of are the interlocking disc. They're almost the same size. Love Every version is a bit smaller and the workmanship on both of them are top notch. I'd be happy with either one of these. However, there is a slight difference in that the edges of the wood on the Monty Kids one is a little bit smoother, but it's not saying that the Love Every one is rough. Um, it's just not smooth rounded edges. While the teething ball isn't included in any of the Love Every boxes, you do have the option to purchase one from Target. Both are made of soft silicone-like material, which is perfect for babies to chew on. Once again, both feel good in my hands and I'm confident my child won't be able to destroy either one of these. The only difference is that Love Every one is a little bit bigger and actually a little bit softer, and it has 11 of these spouts or pegs versus A on the Monty Kids. When it comes to the workmanship of the items, I would have to say it's a tie. Both companies make quality products that will last, and if you're planning to have another child, it could be safe for that child. Next thing I want to compare is what each box comes with. While the individual items differ quite a bit, the concept is fairly similar. They both come with a guide for the parent to make the most of the purchase. The guide goes into detail on how, why, and when to introduce the toys. They differ in that Monty Kid also includes an online course in which parents can watch short videos to learn more about the included items. 
This is great for those who prefer visual guidance. In addition to the videos, they also have articles that give additional information about the included toys and the research behind the items. As a parent, I know things sometimes get a bit hectic and time isn't on our side. So having access to these readings on our phone is huge. This allows us to read an article or two whenever we have some downtime without the need to keep the guide with us. Love Every doesn't have a companion course or guide that we can access on our phone, but I feel that their play guide itself is easier to read and follow. They make it real easy by breaking each item's explanation into two sections, why do this and how to do it. Another great thing about Love Every's play guide is that they also include additional activities you can do with your child that don't involve the items from the play kit. Most of these activities are usually very simple and inexpensive. If you asked me which guide is better and I had to pick a winner, I would lean slightly towards Love Every. Not by much, but I found that their play guide explains each individual item better. I noticed that Monty Kids, at least for level 2, combines the items into a single group. For example, we only get one page explaining the square rattle, grasping cylinder, and interlocking disc. They don't go over each item individually. The online video does go into more details about each item, but still not quite the same amount of detail as Love Every's play guide. So which subscription is better? One might think that since I have Love Every winning more categories, it would be the winner, but it's not as simple as that. I'm a firm believer that there isn't one single way of raising children. If a certain parenting method doesn't feel right to you, then chances are you don't want to follow it. So basically it comes down to your preferred parenting style. If you want to raise your child as close to the traditional Montessori curriculum as possible, then Monty Kids would be a better fit. You might not be interested in some of Love Every's own designs or Waldorf inspired toys. If you're looking for a company that has done all the research on brain development and don't want to spend a fortune, then Love Every would be a great fit. Both subscription boxes are great and I believe most parents and babies will be happy with either. They both can be the only toys you purchase for a child without the need to supplement from outside the subscription. I don't think you can go wrong with either option. With that said though, I wouldn't suggest a subscription to both as some concepts would overlap and you might end up with too many toys and not enough time for your child to master the items if you're constantly introducing new items to them. If you're still not quite sure after watching this video, then you can always purchase some of the non-subscription items from each company to get a feel of their products. Monty Kids has a newborn kit which is a great starter set to get a feel of their products without investing the full amount. Love Every has individual items at select Target that you can purchase such as the green teething ball I showed you earlier. Conveniently, I have reviews of both the newborn kit and Love Every Target toys for you to check out. Before you check out those videos though, make sure to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.